Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. It's your girl, the Red Tree Divine Family. How you guys are doing? I come to talk to you guys this morning, give you guys a little, a little bit of message. Um, my message to you guys is that uh, it's going to be okay. <laughs> it's going to be okay. God is calling for you to get your house in order, your physical house, your spiritual house, your mental house, your emotional house, get your house in order. And the reason why he's calling you to clear things up is because the, in this season where God is bringing you to, the people he is bringing you to, corrupt people can't be around. And see, corrupt people corrupt your soul. They corrupt your morals. They do all that. So God is getting rid of all those corrupt people. So you could start bearing the real fruits that you were supposed to bear. See, you had people attached to you that was hindering your blessing, hindering your growth. They didn't want you to reach your full potential. But in this season right here, God is, peop God is sending his people to come into your life to help you elevate. Help your business grow. Help your mental to grow. To get you where he needs you to be. Okay? So you don't have time to be focused on naysayers. You don't have time to be, every time you talk to somebody, they having a problem. Every time, it's nothing, never good. They're always borrowing and begging. You don't have time for those kind of people in this season right here. See, you went through that already. Now you didn't, you didn't leap up over that. Only time you're going to go back is when God calls you to go back to help somebody else out but right now in this season it's time for you to be selfish with your time selfish with your knowledge selfish with yourself you understand you can't just be giving yourself out to everybody you can't keep spinning a bin on the same people who was trying to keep you stuck on the same people who was caught in your pockets on the same people was willing to help you miss your blessings you see everybody whose god is exposing in this season he exposing them for a reason you may not understand it you may not even want to believe that that's your true enemy but god is going to continue to show you until you remove yourself from that situation see a lot of times us as people when god shows us stuff we do not want to believe what god is showing us you understand but we can quick to believe something somebody tells us but when the one who woke us up clothed us in our right mind does everything for us shows us something we don't want to believe it but let a little let somebody come and tell us something about somebody we'll believe it fast quicker than a hurry but we won't believe what our heavenly father the one we can fall on our knees we don't even have to fall on our knees the one we can cry to and say god i need this lord why i ain't got this and he come through and show us but we can't believe what he say you see god wants you to understand right now what he's doing in your life what he's doing for your family what he's doing for you see you've been through all kind of hurt pain or whatever and god it wants to show you you understand he wants to show you it's more to life than what you know, baby. Your birthright is so big. Your abundance, you heard me, is so big. People have been trying to stop you from years to, to get this, to reach your full potential. But it's here and now. God said, you knock and he shall open. God said he got something good for you. And it's coming for you. And it's just for you. Hold on to his unchanging hands. Do the work. Do what he needs you to do. It's not time for you to touch that dollar and tell this person and tell that person what you got going on. But what it's time for you to do is isolate yourself. Become one with yourself and have a relationship with him. Releasing everything that no longer serves you. Letting go of all those evil thoughts. Letting go of evil plans. Everything. Letting go of everything somebody done to you. And focusing just on you so that you can get where you need to be. So your blessings can come in like they need to come in. You know, it's so easy for us as people to sit down and, and, and just think about. Sometimes when you don't have nothing to do and you just sit there, all kind of stuff play back in your head. The enemy gets you to start thinking about somebody you don't fool with. About something somebody did to have you. Because the enemy wants to keep you stuck. Why would you want to be stuck in anything when God said you are free. And who God said free is free indeed.
They got people in prison right now doing hundred of years. And don't you know, these people are so free because their mind is not in bondage. Once your mind get in bondage, it's crap. You got to learn how to release that stuff. You got to learn how to be free, be willing to walk, be willing to go where you need to go. The enemy wants to destroy you in every which way that he can. In every which way that he can. Let me tell you something. You want to know why your ex keep coming back in your life? You want to know why those fake friends keep coming back in your life? Because God, I mean, because the devil knows that those people one time hold space in your heart. So that's going to be the same people that he used to destroy you. It could be the same people he used to bless you. He will use them again to come and destroy you. Wake up and see what God is trying to show you. Don't look with your physical eyes, but look with your spiritual eyes. Test the spirit by the spirit and you should know the spirit by the fruit that they bear. You understand? Anybody, anybody can tell you anything, but if their audio is not matching a video that tells you a lot about them. You see, because a lot of people, they wear masks. They're not their true authentic self. You understand? They're not their true authentic self. They want to be something that they're not. They want to be these kind of things so that they can get you to fall victim. Like, yeah, oh, that's a good person. Oh, yeah, it would be okay to marry this person. Oh, that would be okay to be my best friend. Oh, yeah, this would be okay for me to trust this pe- th- this person, these people. No, 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 no. How many times you going to keep repeating the lesson of allowing snakes inside of your life? You should be able to smell a snake a mile away now. All the things you've been through, you should be able to smell a snake. You should be able to recognize a snake taxi. You should be recognizing these narcissist people. You should be recognizing all these familiar spirits. Because that's all it is. It's familiar spirits trying to spin the bin on you again. I'm telling y'all, get your house in order. Get your emotions under order. Get your mind under order. It's okay to disappear. Listen, y'all. It's okay to go go ghost for a week, two weeks, three weeks. It's okay. Nobody got to know what you got going on. It's okay to go ghost to get a peace of mind. Misery loves company. Be careful of the company you keep. Do not allow nobody to come drop that emotional baggage on you. Do not allow nobody to do that. Cleanse your space. Cleanse your energy. Stay high vibration. Listen, I don't care what it is you got to do. I don't care if you got to listen to some music to raise your, uh, your vibration. Some reggae. Some some jazz. You know, raise your vibration. I don't care if you got to get to moving your hips and do what you got to do to raise your vibration. Dance till you can't dance. I don't care if you ain't got no rhythm. You ain't got nothing. Dance. Move, get them chakras open, move your body, dance, help, help release all this toxic that's that's around you, that's around, trying to surround you because things are trying to attach itself to you. That's another thing. Y'all stop letting any and everybody go in your house and drop these spirits off in your home. Protect your home. Protect your children. Protect yourself. Your home's supposed to be a safe, peaceful environment full of love and laughter, not chaos and confusion. Get rid of all that toxicity out of your life. Speak your truth to whoever. Listen, I don't care if this your great, 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 great grandma. And you feel like you need to tell your great grandma something, open your throat chakra and speak your truth to everybody. Whether it offend them or not, speak your truth. Because your truth is your truth. Their truth is their truth. Point blank and period. It's no way around it. Speak your truth. Open yourself up. Free yourself from bondage. Some of y'all walking around here. With so much that you want to get off your chest that it fell in your stomach. 
You heard me? You you, you want to tell something to your mama. You want to tell it to your daddy. You want to tell it to your husband. You want to tell it to your wife. And you're scared. Fear is only illusion. God say, speak now forever. Hold your peace. Speak what you have to speak to these people. You're hurting? Tell them. You unhappy? Tell them. Uh, you feel betrayed? Tell them. They overstepped the boundary? Tell them. You heard me? You are in control of your own life. Stop letting individuals control your life. Control how you feel. Control what you eat. Control what you think. Control how you spend your money. Okay? When you was a child, you thought as a child. Now that you're a grown man or woman, you put away childish things. Some of y'all need to get up and some of y'all need to tell y'all mamas, y'all daddies, y'all overstepping boundaries and not minding a business that pays you. Yes, I might be your child, but I'm grown. Some of y'all are letting y'all families ruin y'all life. And y'all thinking that y'all families is helping y'all, y'all families is really ruining y'all. Because you're you're being controlled by their taxes and their manipulation that you're not seeing what God is trying to show you. Your family has been brainwashed you so much that you're not seeing when God is trying to bless you. Get your house in order. Spend time with God. I don't care if you got to go and get you a motel room for three, four, five, six, seven days. Okay? Just you and God. God, I need your direction. You ain't got the money for no motel room. You drive yourself to the beach. Get in that water. Cleanse yourself. Say, God, I need some direction from you. And allow him to direct your path. Because the enemy is trying to keep some of y'all bound by stuff that y'all need to speak about. And y'all need to let it go. So it is not, it, it doesn't have no hold on y'all. It doesn't have any hold on y'all. Some of y'all holding on to memories from y'all childhood that God is calling you to release it. You don't know how to release it? Cry it out. You feel like you can't cry it out? Write it out. You feel like you can't write it out? Sing it out. Paint it out. However it is. Go get you some paint and get you a, a big old white paper. A white poster board. And just paint. And just release however you feel in the inside. Close your eyes and just let your hands just flow and release it. But get your house in order. Clean yourself up so that God can sit in what's for you. Another thing. Some of y'all getting in these relationships. If y'all can't heal together, what y'all doing? Y'all just being in a relationship to say you have a relationship. No, we're going to get in a relationship. We're going to break these generational curses off of our children. You heard me? We're going to start our own. We're we going to start our own generational stuff. We're going to heal each other. We're going to uplift each other. We're going to pray for each other. We're going to intercede for each other. We're going to fight for each other. I'm going to war for you in the spirit. You're going to war for me in the spirit. We're going to do what we need to do to protect and provide for each other as God as the head get your house in order because God is trying to do some amazing things in your life will you allow him to come in and clean up what he needs to clean up he just want to take care of his beloved one he just want to show you how much you mean to him he just want to show you everything somebody told you. It's not what you are. Somebody else's opinion about you does not define your life and who you are or where he's trying to take you. It's your girl, the real true divine feminine. I don't know who needs to hear this message, but I pray this message reach you. And I pray you take heed to what God is trying to do. God really wants to bless you. He needs you to let go of some people, some places, and some things. He needs you to speak up about some things. You're no longer bound. He has already told you he has set you free. He set his captive free. Whatever the enemy, whatever somebody else blackmailing you for, whatever it is that you have done, God has forgave you. Forgive yourself. 
Nobody can't do nothing to you unless God allow them to do it. So if you get connected with the man who got the master plan, you think he going to let something happen to you? Yeah, that weapon may form, but it ain't going to prosper, baby. It's not going to prosper. You got to know that you know that you know that you know that you're, that God got you. He got you. You can walk through the fire and not a hair be turned on your head. You can, somebody can feed you some poison and you will not die because God got you. Somebody can be setting a trap for you. You don't see these people getting shot 12, 14 times, but they still alive. You don't see these people getting their car crashes and walking out because God got them. You got to know that God got you too. And whatever situation or circumstances that you are facing, he's going to carry you through. You just got to make up your mind that's what you want. Not going on nobody else's opinion. Not not doing it because somebody else said you do it. Do it because that's what you want to do. Doing it because you wholeheartedly want to change. You wholeheartedly want to be the person that God has called you to be. Wholeheartedly want a sip of the everlasting water. The water where you shall thirst no more. You run around here getting payday loan after payday loan and all this. When you can be connected to the source. When you can be connected to the source, the one who supplies all your needs. You running around here popping pills, smoking marijuana, drinking drink, drinking liquor to numb your pain. When you can connect to source, the one who can heal you from your pain. The one who could turn your pain into a passion. Turn your pain into your purpose. You run around here mad at every man because your father abandoned you. When God is calling you to heal from your abandonment issues. You run around here hating women because your mama deserted you. When God is calling you to heal from your mother issues, to have a conversation with your mother, to have a conversation, whether she alive or she deceased, to have a conversation with your mama and let them know how you feel because they'll never feel like somebody's gone, that they're not listening, they're protecting you, that they're not there with you. God is calling you to let go of all this toxicity, everything that's keeping you stuck and bound. And not free. We are free to live, to go, to do what we want to do. You are keeping your own self stuck, or you allowing somebody else to poison you to keep you stuck. Get up, get out, and get it done. It's your girl, the Real True Divine Feminine. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.